Hello there guys, my name is Coast Chow Dogs the Ball and Bob Bill Theme Putters and welcome to a Coaster Chow review, another one. Now this review is on a closed attraction at Drayton Manor and I really want this attraction to come back in the future so let's like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share the channel around with your friends, family and on social media. And for now guys, let's get into this review of Excalibur at Drayton Manor. Now this is a towboat ride for families that opened at the park in 2003. It was manufactured by Bear Rides, the same manufacturers as the Lost River Ride uh, at Flamingoland in Bolton, North Yorkshire. The theming was created by a company called Pharma Studios and it features a journey uh, through the mystical world of Castleville uh, complete with onboard audio narration telling the story throughout the ride. Now, this ride ended up SBNO in 2011 um, and all the way through tw in 2012 as well. It operated until the end of the 2011 season and it ended up standing SBNO in 2012. We still don't know what the future is. Apparently, according to one source, malfunctions uh, and several malfunctions caused the ride to close uh, at the end of 2011. At 2012, it was stood SBNO. We didn't know what the future was. We still don't know if the ride's going to come back in a new form or not. But we do know that the main castle building, the Castle of Dreams, is actually the Santa's Grotto attraction at Christmas time. Now, uh, this was first known in 2012 as the Night Before Christmas, but night not as in spelled like Good Night. It's Night spelled as in Brave Night in Night in Shine Armor. Um, so they're sticking with the medieval theme for the Christmas show. Uh, and it was a bit more than just a Santa's Grotto attraction. It was like a, it's kind of like a pre-show and then the Santa's Grotto. So they were really building on the Christmas thing there, uh, and it's remained a Christmas attraction ever since. So you know, I first did this attraction when I, it, it, my only visit to Drayton Manor was 2008, and that was my first ever visit to Drayton Manor. Um, you know, this was a this was a time when it was only a couple of years since I just started getting into theme parks and things like that. You know, I'd just done Gulliver's, Alton Towers for the first time, Disneyland Paris. Uh, you know, I'd done all these parks, uh, and I, I wanted to try a new park in 20, 2008, and Drayton Man was the one, especially since I was a young kid. And with the opening of Thomas Land in that year, replacing the old Robinson's Land, uh, I wanted to try uh, and see, you know, what Thomas Land was about. Troublesome Trucks, brilliant family coaster, loved it, it was one of my favourites when I was a kid. Um, still one of my favourite family coasters, it's not up there with the likes of 13 and things like that now, but it's still a great family credit. Um, but of course, I, I tried Excalibur when I was there, it was only a few years, like two, three years before its closure, or, or for its last season of operation, uh, for now, hopefully, fingers crossed, hopefully it comes back. Um, and, you know, I tried it for the first time, and I absolutely loved it. I absolutely loved it. Um, I've got like a home video somewhere. Uh, I don't know if it's still there or not. It's on my old DVD player, but I can't get it working at the minute. So I'm yet to watch it back, uh, the visit to Drayton Manor. But, you know, I've, I've, I remember watching it years ago uh, for the final time for now. Hopefully I can try and get it working again. Um, and it was just a fantastic memory to keep in my mind. Um, just the whole... Uh, Castleville story and the theming going past and to and fro and to and fro. It was just a fantastic family attraction. It featured a great story. It was a storyline that was easy to follow. Um, the theming around the ride, yes, it was, you know, compared to the, 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 the screens and the projections of today's theme park market and dark ride market and sort of family ride market, compared to the animatronics we have nowadays where it's moving and things like that, you know, I think it makes the the Excalibur animatronics now look more basic than it was at the time. But I love basic. I love basic animatronics. It was fantastic. It was simple. It was easy to follow the storyline. The ride system was great. I think Bear Rides did a fantastic job with the ride system. Farm Studios, great theming company. I love the theming on that ride. Um, and like I said before, I want this ride to come back. I know Drayton Manor is going into that family audience a bit more now. Obviously, they are going to be keeping the thrill rides. Apocalypse and Shockwave is staying. Uh, if you didn't know already, I, ha I had to delete that Apocalypse and, and Shockwave rumor video. I had to delete it. It wasn't going to happen. Um, they're staying. So that's pr that's that. I love that. I wasn't going to listen to that rumor anymore. That's dead and buried. It's gone. Apocalypse and Shockwave is staying at Drayton Manor, and I can't wait. I, w I want to get back on them at some point. Well, I want to get back on Apocalypse. I haven't tried Shockwave yet. I haven't done that yet. I didn't do it on my visit in 2008, but 
Can't wait to get back to Apocalypse in the future. Can't wait to try Shotwave for the first time at some point. Uh, there's a few rides that I want to see Straight Manor reopen. Splash Canyon was fantastic when I went Straight Manor. It was absolutely fantastic. Um, and Excalibur is one of those rides that I want to see come back. Um, maybe we'll see something happen with Pirates Adventure in the future. That was one of my favourite dark rides of all time. Um, obviously the likes of Valhalla and the classic Ghost Train at Blackpool Pleasure Beach and you know other dark rides that I've done. Uh, Peter Pan's flight at Disneyland Paris was brilliant. There's other dark rides that are in contention with Pirates Adventure. I actually did the original Haunting. No, no, not many of you know that, but before its refurbishment a few years ago, I actually did the original Haunting, and I thought it was fantastic. I thought, from the from the sounds of the refurbishment, it sounds a lot better than it was, but I still thought it was fantastic the way it was. So, can't wait to go back out to Straight Manor in the future, in the near future, and try out that. Uh, new version of the haunting see if there's anything different with the original um obviously bent and ultimate mission now called accelerator another ride that i want to do but excalibur is another ride that i want to see return like pirates adventure i want to see excalibur return to drayton manor um so yeah so thank you very much for watching this review of excalibur at drayton manor please drayton manor if you're watching this please if you can bring excalibur back it's a fantastic ride i'm sure you can put a new christmas grotto attraction somewhere else in the park maybe uh, I mean, I looked on, I know Wikipedia is not the best of sources, but I did look and saw that Vertigo was apparently, you know, closed at the end of this year. Uh, I don't think that's going to be true unless it actually gets confirmed by the park, so I'm not going to com I'm not going to talk about that anymore. Um, but it's just something to keep in mind. Um, so maybe if Vertigo is going, then maybe put a Christmas attraction or a Santa's Grotto on that site so it sort of connects the park and the hotel. I don't know. But I think I want to see Excalibur back. If there's any way to put a Christmas attraction somewhere else in the park, I want to see Excalibur back because it was such a great family ride. And with the technology nowadays and, you know, Drayton Manor uh, bringing in that family audience again, I want to see Excalibur giving a new lease of life. Same with Pirates Adventure, give it a new lease of life uh, and bring it back to its former glory. So thank you very much for watching this review of Excalibur at Drayton Manor. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a future video. And for now, guys, my name is Ghost Child, Killing the Ghost of Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, friends.